In this video, we will learn how to iterate NumPy arrays. So, iteration means displaying each and element of an array. So, we will be using loops. We will also see some examples. Iteration means displaying each and element of an array. For that, we will be using for in loop. Okay. We will work around some examples to iterate a 1D array, 2D array, as well as a 3D array. Let's see the examples. So here we have our PyCharm project. We have created a new project. Let us create a new new Python file. Right click new Python file. Let us name the file. I'll only add the name and after pressing enter, it will automatically add the .py extension because Python file is by default selected. Here it is demo1.py. Now let me create two more files because we are having three examples. Let us begin with the first example. First import numpy and create an alias that is np here. Now let us create a 1D array n is equal to n is our array object you can say n is equal to numpy dot array that is np dot array. Within that create a 1D array. Here in we created an array with the integer array with six elements. Now we can iterate the array. Okay, for that I'll be using the for in loop that is for a in n, n is our array, this the following. Now when we'll print the value of a, it will display each and every element one by one. With that we can also display the, for that we can also display the type of the array by type bracket the array name and similarly we can display the data type also okay using n dot d type property and uh, let's say I'll display the dimensions also using the n dot endim endim property that's it go to file that's it go to file save all right click run demo one so here it is guys we have iterated the array okay this wasn't needed then we have printed the type Look, we have iterated one by one. Iteration means displaying one by one. Iterating means to iterate one by one. Then we have shown the type. The following is a type that is n dimensional array, nd array. Data type, here it is n32, that is an integer array, and dimension one because it was a one dimensional array. Here it is one dimensional array. So in this way we can work around one dimensional array and iterate it using the for in loop. Let's go to the second example in which we will iterate a two dimensional array. For that first import numpy as np. Then create the two dimensional array. Create a two dimensional array n is equal to np dot array. Now create a two dimensional array. So here we are creating a three row, two column array, three by two. So I hope you know two dimensional means a matrix. So we created it. Now let us iterate it. That is print each and every element using the for in loop for a in n and print the value of a this will print uh, sorry this will print our array colon so using the for in loop we have printed our array we can also print the type now 
then we can print the data type D type property and we will also print the dimensions by using the end dot end imp that is end imp property that's it go to file save all right click and run demo to now here we printed our two dimensional array that is a 2d array which is three rows and two columns and the type we printed using the type method the following that is nd array and dimensional array then we printed a data type that is integer array in 32 and dimension this is a two dimensional array i told you so using ndim it printed two okay so in this way we iterated a, a two dimensional array and got some other information also we iterated using the for in loop now let us see our third example wherein we will iterate a three dimensional array let us first import numpy as np in a three dimensional array the the 2d matrices in the three dimensional array will get iterated one by one for the complete 3d array iteration let's see let us create a 3d array n is equal to numpy means uh, the alias np dot array this looks fine so here in in our 3d array we created two 2d matrices that is first one is the following and the second one is here okay now we will print the iterations let's say iterating now what will happen we will use the for in loop for a in n that is our array name and within that since we are printing the 2d matrices that is the 2d matrices are iterated one by one so herein we will add each matrix so that they get printed one by one obviously 3d dimensional array is having two two dimensional arrays so we printed just for the sake of showing so here it is it will iterate one by one first it will print the following and after that it will print the second array let me print the type and other stuff also i can take from here we printed the type using the type method and added the array name in it then we printed a data type using the dtype property and then the dimensions using the endim property that's it go to file save all right click run demo 3 now here it is first it printed our complete 3d array how by iterating the 2d matrices one by one the first one i told you it will get print first then the second one will get printed here it is the first one got printed first the following and the second one got printed after that and we added a text also so that it's easier for us to understand then came the type and uh, data type and dimensions type nd array means n dimensional array type data type means in 32 and nd means dimension 3 that is a three dimensional array this is what i told you so through this we can easily iterate a 3d array using the for in loop so guys in this video we saw how we can iterate arrays in numpy using for in loop thank you for watching the video